Hi everyone and welcome to Collaboration Coach. It's Matt and in this video I'm going to show you how to set the permissions on your Microsoft team. So before we get started just want to remind you I'm posting every week at the moment so please hit subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. All right so I'm starting out here in my Microsoft team and I'm an owner of the team. Now you need to be an owner to do all of the things I'm going to show you today. It could be that you want to restrict what people can do in your team, so what the members are allowed to do as opposed to the owners. And it could be that you only want certain people to be able to join the team. You want to be able to control who has access to the team. So the way you do that as an owner is if you come to the ellipsis over here next to the team name, which is Everest, and pull down the menu, you'll see two options, manage team, and edit team. And if I go to edit team, it's going to pull up a new dialog and you'll see the team name and description. And down the bottom here, we've got a privacy option and we can go public or we can go private. So public basically means that anybody in your organization can join the team. Private allows you to choose who can join. So when someone asks to join your team and it's private, you'll get a notification to add that person to the team and you can choose at that point whether to do it or not. So that's privacy. Second thing we can do here is if we go back to the ellipsis, we can go manage team. Now one thing I see is the channels and the tabs list getting a bit out of hand when everybody has access to them. So you might want to change that. So if you go to the settings tab here, you'll see you've got member permissions. You can actually turn off the permission to create and update channels and delete and restore channels and also create and update tabs. So you might want to do that just to keep control over what people see and prevent it from getting too untidy. And once you're done here, there's no need to save, your settings should take effect. So in this video, I showed you how to manage the permissions in your Microsoft team and set it to public. Thanks for watching. And if you like these videos, please share them with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be posting new ones every week.